Um, good morning, or as of you might have heard on YouTube, um, yes, I'm uh, again, um, um, your best football tactical analysis channel. Oh, yeah, on YouTube, it doesn't get any better from here. Yeah. Um, like we always do, no, so subscribe to the channel now. I treat you, subscribe to the channel, no, turn your notification in the notification, turn it, no, make sure so you do choose all, choose all on notification, turn it, no, and of course, share the link to others to also help them subscribe and get known to their channel and enjoy the analysis here on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. This morning on the various Fifi Manfred WhatsApp channels, no, uh, there, we have about 400 plus odds there. We have 12 odds there. We have, and of course, six odds there, all for any games. No, and so choose which one amongst our three, you know, and I will share breaks you know, our form for you to stick. And it's good luck for you from us. And um, we have the link to the various groups in the better tune. But of course, on 50 Manfred on Facebook, 50 Manfred on 50 underscore Manfred on Twitter, um, all to know the ego on them, the quotes in the go on them, straight fact. Don't edit anything in nature. Now enjoy analysis. No, what I say, El Fifi Manfred on YouTube over there. And Miss Anso Kyle saying, I mean, had man this Sunday, Chelsea, any Manchester United game, not me. Any Richard, your host, Oh, you try from no. We are going to do a live watch. I will have on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. You turn your notification because on Sunday, Ocean March, and I will enjoy the reaction. We will be on Richard, we will be a Manchester United, they say chance, and the both with Chelsea say chance, and me are frustrated. We get all of that on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel, not turn on notification, notification turn so share link. No, no more will be also in your and share our house on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. No, be a and yet come on, come on, come on, come on. I have a lot to unpack for you here on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Now, let us get straight into it. Now, this is the thing, and so Mariska see. He is having sleepless nights and trouble preparing for the game against Manchester United. And I'm going to tell you the story. Say, would him say already, Manchester United are very close to getting coach a friend of Ruby Namorin to come and be their manager. And the assistants now. Nanka, everybody was thinking, said by Sunday at Chelsea, Beko away to Manchester United. No? It would have been coach at your friend of. Um, Rude Van Estoy in the best not that doubt for them a coach in Manchester United, but in a quick turn of events, in the, in the, in the last bare 10 15 hours, it looks as if you say Manchester United for now are moving very quick. Now, there is going to be a letter, so I'll let them be there too soon. A sporting phone, a sporting a publicly listed club, and as a publicly listed club, I say, BB, I bet me affected the stock market ever through them. They have to let the stock market in Portugal you know, into sporting virtual letter. At the command, stock market in Portugal, I'm catching up. Say, I'm a coach, a friend of Ruby Namorim. I will release cross for clubs in Portugal for 20 million. But say clubs in every amount of money, and I say they are somewhere big clubs in Europe, air by the final, and a 10 million. Now, how many months the United are contact you? Know? United any contact you? Know? United any Ruby Namorim that didn't come out with Chile. And it is very, very close to say United and Ruby Namorim will reach an agreement. And United Force have contacted almost sports and follow my catcher and say they are willing to pay the 10 million for a bench of Ruby Namorim. The stock market in Portugal should be ready. Say Omo be receiving 10 million, which is obviously going to affect the stock market of Portugal, which are around 8 point something million pounds. And I'm catch up. Now, in all indications, Manchester United for are convinced about Ruben Amorim and they want to take him to Old Trafford. Or might it be possible to take Ruben Amorim, take him to Old Trafford, and then get the job done? Now, there is no problem. And manager Ruben Amorim a ball game. I was sporting for a um, cup game. I think about four goals to one. I was saying United for one. He said that is their man. In the post match interview, I'm say, Obe was in the dugout in facing Chelsea. Over the weekend and now. First one, as soon as Ruby Namori make kind of say no. Or he was not going to be in the dugout. And I'm generally still pushing the and say, Are you sure? Are you definite about it? And I'll say honestly, I don't know. And I'll tell you more. So a huge indication of the fact that Abrantia, your friend of Ruby Namorim, may be in the dugout. And no, and I am zoom I said, I said, and now with uh Lee Kagan, 
BBC Sports. And and what now? Enzo Mareska. I can say, I say, a man a lot of the sleepless nights. Kirenjo. A man a lot of the sleepless nights. Now, me do what we dream about what Enzo Mareska said. But you see, in Kachos, you will be game in any way. And now you tactic on another system out. How Newcastle won, but well, of course, the point of view was that game against the same opponent at the Stanford Bridge and how Chelsea fared against them. I kept on pointing to the fact that essentially Chelsea used the plus one in central areas because they knew said Newcastle were going to press them 1v1 across the field of play. In Newcastle against area, what Chelsea essentially wanted to do was that then you see a goalkeeper as plus one in build up. So, goalkeeper is successful as plus one in build up. There is going to be Space we can drag them out of a certain space, we can create space because I'm more following, I'm more pressing a one v one. Any better on baby, I'm on call left on baby, each you're called right on baby, each it's not central on baby, each so we can drag them into a certain space. Now, see, you're dragging them into that space now. The number one into one, we will have very good channel runners in Nicholas Jackson and a bunch of fairly cool palmer to attack those places, get the ball, flick, turn around, drop a shoulder, and then transitions to happen. Indeed. That was the thing in the first game against Newcastle. In the look the Asenka, according to Enzo Mareska, and Hanessa, he's not too worried about that one. That's not his worry. And yeah, the Hano, the big. But the biggest worry as a manager, the biggest worry from now to Sunday, and yes, I give against Newcastle because, of course, in terms of even just the depth at Chelsea or Okoba away to go and play in the game against uh, uh, against Newcastle United, just with a lot of depth. Sa number 10 rule now, yes, you can be plus one on fifth one. Enzo Fernandez can do that. Number 10 rule in Cook, who again can run the channels. Oh, yes, not as high level as Nicolas Jackson, but he can run the channels to an extent. Jean Felice can be the man also in the pocket to create chances and then heads them. Mihailo Modric, any advantage from Pedro Neto can keep the weight, and then there is a lot of pace in there if they want to get in behind Newcastle for where children in the middle of the pack. Now, because said uh, Newcastle you're more physical specimen, have more physical team in team. I don't think say say Enzo Mareska, Estati, Enzo Fernandez, or Obebo, another player in Kenyan dreams be on another Cesarica side. No, most likely he will go on for either Lavia or Caicedo, also in the middle of the pack next to Enzo Fernandez. It will finish on. Then at the back, Chelsea have it in Benoit Bellashili, tossing Adria Biayo. Then having Marco Crea, Renato Viega, or Malo Gusto, Marco Crea, any of that variations no, with Philip Jorgensen in the post. Until a year, 100% clear that Chelsea have the depth in quality. Who, who can still exert the same stress, the same problems. And they have worked out on the pre-match press conference and said, Russia Chelsea team. Now. One of the things that boggles his mind and he said, the depth at Chelsea for Nikita and how tactically Two separate teams. Sometimes, say team, coach, just say team. The first team can be better than the second team. The first team no, can play solo on a second team nation and win. But Enzo Mareska seems to have a team, two separate teams. Are. The same automatisms, the same build up style, the same rotations, the same formation of triangles consistently. And we team them. And we win the first team is in general. That's what we rest there. The new team or the second team that's coming in can also play and give you similar to the same result as compared to the old team. And that is where Enzo Mareska and uh, I mean a lot of the teams know ever be shared Chelsea and a little bit worse. It's just a few tweaks in Enzo Mareska. And for Enzo Mareska, that's really any problem. But this is what Enzo Mareska was saying. Or say in the last two weeks, time uh, last Monday, uh, or see so much security hard on. Or you meeting with an analyst, the coaching staff, and one way more. And one in our chair, PSV games, bear bear 300 amongst themselves. And their plan was that they should PSV. They analyze you. Let us make sure that we know exactly what they do in every facet of the game. Build up, transitions, how they overload, how they play from the back. How what are their variations? How what 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 is their quest? What kind of superiority is not Rude Vanestra? Because NJ, they are not Rude Vanestra, the manager of PSV end of it. They overload the same or penal 
me 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 superiority since say no pen or pen quantitative or pen qualitative or pen in this channel or pen in this zone say no or person you man you think you can connect you can come check it let's see that to help us it was a wash then in the last few hours all prepare for newcastle game what's it say now manchester united phone have been quick and almost catch up sports in the phone like i told you in the in earlier um, earlier in this um, i mean broadcasting say oh my god catch up sports and phone say they want to get the rubin and morim as quickly as possible and the only thing is that amorim any united phone have been clear say they would he would do he will leave sports and cp in the right way on free sporting cp just because there's no free sporting cp and i say they are oh uh, manchester united about until he will leave them and it's not going to be an amicable way no he will make sure he will leave sporting cp in the right way and according to Mariska, now he has to go on and then watch ruby and morin also sporting games because now character hack and all i'll share it hack manchester united games recent games games in the past and why yeah, yeah, some analysis be prepared for Saturday game. Why any training routine against Tima, a friend Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag for over the weekend. And he has sacked Eric Ten Hag and I'm so okay. Then Ruth Van Nistra and prepare team, you know. And then we match the United all Kawa Cup game. On Boria, there's going to be that big one on Sunday. Chelsea's work Kawa Cup game. So he would watch in Kobe PSV games you now. And can then Robert Sans watch Kawa Cup game after Chelsea match. You know? And then he uses it to prepare Sack game now because so on Sunday. But what it say so Ruby Namorim is going to be the new manager for Team Friend Manchester United, and then he has to go back and watch Ruby Namorim at Casapia, Ruby Namorim at Benfica, Ruby Namorim at Sporting CP, and it's tough for him because he has to watch a lot of videos in preparation for the Records on Sunday. And I say Mareska says that he is not in a good place in terms of Sadia. And I'm, I'm sure that the preparation of the games, the um, game management, sad details like I told Celine here, going away to Manchester. Is beginning to worry coach up your friend Enzo Maresca, and then you would want to get that over and done with as a standstill. Yeah, chain to see how all of that is going to be. But let me read to you exactly as my Enzo Maresca kind. Enzo Maresca, um, I was watching games of PSV from when Ruben Ruth Van Estroy was manager, aware of of aware of the fact that we may have to switch again to Amorim. ETH sacking has complicated Chelsea's week. And they already analyzed United's play under the Dutchman for the preparation on Sunday. And it is worrying coach, your friend Enzo Maresca. He has said it several times that he has to prepare for the game based on what goes on, based on on only players not sending a corner. And now, you see, he had a quick um, discussion with the analyst team discussing how they want to play. But effectively, you just a Morim Eba, Manchester United in Kwandia. It is going to be a 3 5 2. And in the first game, they want the things that he's going to do particularly very very clear and he said he's going to hinge on a lot of defensive solidity and the physicality with children there is no way Ruben Amorim will come into the first game against Chelsea at Old Trafford and then open up the game he knows that Chelsea will kill them in transitions I know for a fact that he won't try that but for instance my rescue manager and he will not want to leave any stone on 10 in terms of senior or prepare for the game in terms of how he believes say I um, mean Ruben Amorim maybe born a boy again if you look at the other side, even if say Ruth Van Estre Campona, he would want to watch more videos. He would want to analyze him as a coach more. He would want to watch most of his teams because so your coach that's who open a three team up. Man, San Wei Jumanodo. That is when you can really ascertain say coach and say no but say no but say no yeah say no yeah say no and a very very big one for him going into side game now Chelsea any team my friend of Manchester United ever but over the weekend and it's again that essential a very important and share and I'm not person maker. And they give no against Newcastle. Hey, another must win game for Chelsea. Another must win game. We need to the same opponent twice in two weeks. But Chelsea should be able to win. And again this morning, I was talking about the quality in depth that Chelsea for the kicker. I know. So we should training pictures, the training videos. Now, the last time uh Mini Raman Osman we being come one of the other guys from the UK, you can tell clearly that all of these people they took they talk about the facts that Enzo is a detailed person. And like yesterday, I was saying, there was a picture where he's teaching Benoit Belashili and it was an Adrabia exactly how to get the best out of the Newcastle team. I know that Newcastle will not rest too many players. Over the weekend, almost more Arsenal again, they will feel into three top games on my ball, two the same opening twice, and then Arsenal. 
So they won't rest, they won't rest too many. But then again, if you feel one of a branch of Sandro Tonali and Bruno Gamares is going to play against Enzo Fernandez in between the lines, and then of course, either of Rubio Labia Moise Caicedo, and then one of them will also invest into the house piece, having a branch here, your friend of Ja Felix Apto. And my 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 own, and it's a match. It will be hinged on how good Christopher and Kuku can run the channels very well for Chelsea. How good can he run the channels? I mean, he, he can't get the level of Nicolas Jackson because see one of the best channel runners. In fact, the best channel runner ever will say, hey, Chelsea, Nicolas Jackson. No? He's top at that regard. Running the channels, holding up play, getting in between the lines, being solid and resolute in every area. So, of course, to make sure so very CV bomb, he is the best. He is top. Only a few people come close to him um, in terms of say, hey, and Nicolas Jackson, hey, hey, what Chelsea said. But today, Chelsea will need it for my branch of friend Christopher and Kuku. Chelsea will need it in between the lines play, solid play from Brighton Friend and Jao Felix. And Jao Felix, and so it's me, ma, um, your friend is saying, Enzo Mareska, worry. So, okay, cool, pa, my, yeah, they start number 10. But Jao Felix, you see, good enough. You do read me a shot from my market, cool, pa, ma, you better drop it. Cool, pa, ma, yeah, the Jao Felix, ma, you do read me a shot, I see, yeah, cool, pa, ma, be a target for a certain team, ma, we'll play cool, pa, ma, and Jao Felix, both of them in between the lines, and then we'll head open it. Yeah, shot, I see, yeah, and only a Maya, they will tweak something again, win, because, Ja Felix wants to play in the big games. So we see Enzo Mareska. Or see, for Obi to say Jerry Sancho. One more Jerry Sancho in the last game because maybe because he had Jerry Sancho as son and I said, or see, was just a tactical reason. And again, it is because also going to play against a high person and a very high line Newcastle side. It will push you up. Now, if you are playing against a team like that on the line, you know, about what around the 18 yard boxer. About around the, I mean, this, this, the, the, the start, uh, the center circle line as well. You don't necessarily need somebody that receives the ball to fit. When you are not receiving the ball to fit, that you are not helping anybody. You need somebody that loves the ball ahead of them in the space, like job, uh, Pedro Neto. And that's exactly how Kopama is finding the ball. One of the things that my pep power tells the team, when they say, if you look at the team, it looks as if the players need any more strength in the weakness. In Tisawashi, like I call them. So we will keep the lines not with the passes not from a child. When he knows that it's going to be Nicolas Jackson and I said Paul Palmer, I want it very hard. Because when you say it's Uncle Fumi, I'm going to flick it, but I'm turn it, I'm going to control snare in between the lines, they can do the job very well. They will turn around and they will, they will, they will combine quickly and then they will get into the channel. So Obama, any of the midfielders are usually not too strong. He plays it to them so that they can control, they can show that first, turn around and then play for it because he knows that uh, usually the midfielders are man marking it's in a very dangerous area. But when the two hard, they are going to be in trouble. And it's the same way at Obama. A boss out pass now will be at Kawan Sam in that area. I am all about to hang up on a bottom mark Obama. And immediately he got that ball. He knew that Pedro Neto, the player, he wants the ball to fit. He knows that Pedro Neto essentially wants the ball in space. And we are going to turn in a straight between Livramento and Fabian Shah. Place the ball in between them. Find the space for Pedro Neto. Pedro Neto, he lights them quick. Once Pedro Neto gets the ball, essentially it's about slotting the ball, cutting it back to our brand here, your friend Nicholas Jackson, to sort home and get Chelsea South first goal. It, the Newcastle game is going to bring a lot of different challenges. The fact that Chelsea air ball away at Tang side, they ball at St. James's Park. And that's the place where OBN in some of fans they are very vociferous. OBN in some of fans are more aggressive or oh, 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 that's all ball games on my they will make it easy for you. And it's in the northeast of England. The whole area very, very cool. Chelsea have struggled certain times when they go there and have past managers. But it looks as you say, in terms of game preparation, so Chelsea are quite to almost every game. Up. They are playing well this season, both in the Carabao Cup, in the Conference League, in the league. You know, consistently, they seem to be getting easy results when they, I mean, good results when they go away from home. And you feel, you know, sometimes, yes, because they are not really fully automated, any sound they maybe they have to do well with you until sometimes they need to do more. You realize that they need to push more to get a result at home. But with time, maybe they'll be able to build a formidable, I mean, home ground also with you. The last time I chose a, a drop your points away from home was that Liverpool game. Apart from that, not just in drop your game, um, any any points away from home, and they were in a solid run. So going away to the St. James's Park, no means that Newcastle means what's in it before. Now, I'm going to the game with the field. The game is going to be more aggressive. When Uti, um, 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 Eddie Howard, or say, say, Uche Chelsea match now on boy. In the first opening minutes, he thinks that they didn't defend well enough. They didn't do well enough. And, or say, they didn't defend Kupama well enough in transitions. Into, and only affect him. Or say, Uche, the way Kupama, he created the chance for the first goal. Now. And then again, in the second half in transitions, Kupama far ball. 
not smacking it at goal shift, the first goal, the second goal in the second half, no? and it was a little bit worrying for them. And they had to do with them in transition. But the thing is that, and then you could and then on being a different type of that same problem, and that's what Enzo Mares can enter. And and then now people will look back at the Chelsea squad and they will not see say Omar sign the only inside interview them. Um, Enzo Mares can say my sign for him. He was asked about the a billion pound bottle job. No? I got never like kind. Not see oh, on the side in when see about share match. And who say all of the uh, game analysis never uh, swimming and shoots a Liverpool boy a lot of finals than Chelsea. And consistently they were better until he was not too worried about it but essentially you can sense at the back of the head of coach Enzo Maresca the plan is to go to Old Trafford the plan is to go to St. James Park and then build the boys and so Utia, he wants leadership for Mubia including captain regimes said they should stand up they should be counted they should be more aggressive they should make sure say games no more bottom oh yeah the best players they talk to themselves they push players to do better or oh, make sure say they take responsibility and then if you know you have a good say no way you shouldn't be in and no in getting results and doing it consistently you need to make <coughs> sorry you need to make sure say, um, 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 you take responsibility there is leadership on the foot of play you play well you make sure say, you get the results i mean because if you don't take responsibility yeah, definitely you are not going to succeed in association football and modern day football of course um, you know, the Ballon d'Or, come on up. You really, you really, obviously, uh, the best player in the world as it stands now officially. Uh, Branche from Rodrigo Cascanti. All of us can have a disagreement. Uh, we need to make a we to make a we to say they agree, we need to make a agree. But that is Rodrigo Cascanti's um, Ballon d'Or. It was his night on the other day, and congratulations to him. I hope so, Vinicius Jr. Uh, will congratulate Rodrigo Cascanti. Now, I forget about it, and it makes sure they will use it with this as something that will push him to do better as a person that will push him to even push him to next level saying on one to it's kind he will do 10 times better they don't know what is coming and i like that mentality for him he should not give up as a player and so push him you know the results and he had to say this weekend Madrid game on Kaka Bo, um, over the weekend uh, and are yeah, there um opponents you no know, i think it's severe also almost prepare a very very distasteful chance for a friend of Vinicius Jr. that should even spare him or that should push him to go ahead and do the job um, as a young Brazilian player, the amount of the year thing they say, Rodri is a Spanish and Madrid is a Spanish team. Madrid, all the, all the, all the, all the English senior league, of course, um, the PR and everything is going to go in his favor. But then again, I think that um, Vinicius Junior, in my opinion, is one of the best players that we've seen throughout the season from last season up to now. He has been consistent for Madrid. And um, yes, there are issues with Copa when he goes to Madrid. But then again, it is not the reason why in TSM really a Lucius Abalador conversation on Madrid. But I mean, um, it is what it is. Um, life has to go on and Vinicius Jr. has to move on. Uh, and we'll bring you the Ketsin. Uh, that's how we draw the Ketsin here on TV Manfred on YouTube. Like we always do. Take care of yourself. You know, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the notification. You know, notification turn in. Don't choose all. I'll see you. Bye-bye.